Hello, Anya. Welcome to the Nordic Data Science and Machine Learning Summit. It's great having you with us today. Before we go on with further questions, can you tell us more about your background, area of expertise, and the company that you're representing today? Okay, so my name is Anya Rumiantseva, and uh, I work for Hitachi Vantara company. That's a part of the Hitachi group. So um, Hitachi Vantara is a very new company that basically uh, raised from three companies that merge together. It's uh, Pentaho, Hitachi Data Systems and Hitachi Insight Group. Mm -hmm. And our vision is to combine the experience in operational technology and experience in IT to build reliable solutions based on data for improving business operations. Mm -hmm. Great. So Anya, um, you gave both a presentation and a workshop today. So congratulations on that. Uh, your sessions were about sensors, data and prediction, the holy trinity of uh, Internet of Things. And then your workshop was about overcoming machine learning challenges. Can you please do a short recap of that for our viewers? <laughs> so uh, in our workshop, we were considering different machine learning challenges in the machine learning process. And uh, there were a couple of things that I particularly highlighted. First of all, it's um, the time and effort spent on data preparation and feature engineering and um, kind of uh, adapting this philosophy to move from coding environment into more advanced tools where you have the GUI interface and you have uh, more clear workflows that can be applied on multiple use cases and that are easily traceable and refinable. And uh, why is it important? It's because um, in our company, we work with industrial IoT a lot, so it's petabytes of data, it's multiple use cases, it's a um, complicated blend of data from different sources. Mm -hmm. So you cannot address it by having zillions of lines of code. So you need um, uh, reliable, consistable tools that provide one uh, coherent experience across the whole data pipeline. That uh, was the bottom line of my workshop and of my talk today. Great, thank you. So um, we've gathered here and we're talking about types like data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence and how can companies maximize the return on investment from it. So what are your thoughts on these subjects and how is your company in particular helping in this field? So I think it's uh, we're in a very exciting era because nowadays uh, we have tools, we have sufficient data, and of course we have these uh, decades of advanced mathematical solutions that we finally can apply because we have technology, we have uh, all this computing power, and now uh, we are breaking the silos of people working separately. So data scientists can collaborate with the main experts, with uh, IT engineers, to build the solutions that use integration of data as well as advanced analytics and artificial intelligence to improve business operations. Mm -hmm. Great. So, um, considering um, the amount of data today, the technology which is developing so fast, you say, the competence and the new world processes that are in place, do you think that organizations by now are ready to start innovating through data science, machine learning, and, and IE? And if, if not, how can, how can they get ready for these journeys they, that they have ahead, considering these trends? Um, yeah, I think like, you know, uh, nowadays the variety of tools out there and uh, the variety of experts mm -hmm. is, um, enables or companies to use data science and uh, the data assets that they have to improve business operations. So if... Um, you're in the beginning of the journey, I would suggest to invest both in tools and people in the data science team. Okay, so the, the technology is agile today. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's move, it moves with incredible pace and, and innovation. So, again, from your point of view, how can organizations utilize the full potential of data uh, and the, the technology innovation? Yeah, that's true that the technology is really agile. I think uh, you go to bed and then you wake up and you have two, <laughs> 10 new technologies to work yeah. with big data. Um, well, keep your eye what is out there. Uh, keep your eye on uh, the, the multiple platforms and uh, investigate. And uh, I mean, uh, data is complicated. There are multiple types of data and uh, there is no one solution for it all. So um, you need to invest time and effort to 
choose the tool and uh, to utilize all the data assets that you have. Mm -hmm. One final question, Anya. Uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence and data science. Uh, what, do, what shall we expect in the nearest future, let's say, in the next one year or two? <laughs> Well, it's uh, such a rapidly uh, moving field, and uh, I think basically in five years, uh, in five years ago, uh, not that many many people knew about data science, but now we can see the direct application and uh, such a great outcomes of it. And I think uh, within one year, I don't know to what to expect because it's moving too fast for me <laughs> to predict the it's outcome. Unpredictable. It's unpredictable, <laughs> but I'm sure it will be great. Okay. Anya, thank you for your input. For thank the you. It was a pleasure having you with us today. It was a pleasure to attend the summit. Thank you.